the cloud. Zoom just updated and I was having trouble well, with it. So. There we go. So I call this meeting to order of the Parks and Conservation Land Board on August 15th. Attendance? Jessica Sargent? Rachel Hendrickson? Sue Holy Curtis. Doug Williams? Rick Murphy? Tell Susan Staff? Great. Uh, our single agenda item for this workshop is the development of a yet to be determined title, but uh, we've been calling it either and or the success 20 year report. So this would be a report similar to an annual report, only it's all years that the <laughs> has existed where we, we talk about the program accomplishments um, of it is the land bond, but it's not just the land bond. It's not PCLB. So we have some terminology to, terminology to, to get through, but uh, I think we can still just call it the 20 year <laughs> report. Um, I think we have three things to talk about. We've got, what are we thinking in terms of pieces? What are we thinking in terms of content? And then what are we thinking in terms of format? So for example, when I think of pieces, I think of two pieces. One is a one page summary handout leaf. It could be front and back, but it's, it's a one piece, uh, one pager. And then a, a full a full herb report that is where that information is drawn from. That's the way I'm thinking of the pieces. Um, and that is because not everyone will read a 20 plus page report, um, but we'll get more eyes on a, a one page summary. Uh, before, in order to make, in order to, to come to a, an agreement or a decision on, on that, um, do we have a budget for, let's say, printed? material right that's another so then there's the i guess the fourth part of the discussion which is who's how do we how, pay for it how do we pay for this who's do, who's doing it um and who's doing it in multiple um stages right there's the content then there's the design and then there's the production and production can include electronic and printed um and there are resources needed for each of those I would add a fifth component. Okay. Um, and it's more a format and just timeline to execute. Yeah. Because what you want to obtain when, I think that'll decide on what you need for money and and you know if you're looking how to put that together. So my opinion on timeline is is as soon as possible. And what's realistic, meaning is it possible to wrap up content by the end of August and do design in September? Uh, I'm looking at our scheduled meetings. Um, <clears throat> whatever, whatever we agree to, we've got a September 12th <clears throat> opportunity to take a vote on what we're doing, approve what we're doing, whatever, you know, whatever it is that we're going to that we want to do right so that's that's a, a deadline so um your idea to have it done have part of it done by the <laughs> end of august i think is is very important so that we can move forward in september um our next meeting then unless we hold an emergency one would be november 14th so right. we really got to be clear on september 12th what what we're doing and actually kind of be down the pike on it. Again, I don't know if this is realistic given the resources available, but if we were reviewing a draft mock-up on September 12th and we as a board provided final edits to that draft mock-up, that would be my goal. But I don't know if that's possible 
given the resources available to this committee. You're talking four weeks. Is the goal to have this as a tool for land mod vote? It's an education. resource, I mean? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, so early, here's the early vote voting starts a month before the election. So <clears throat> as far as content, you have the content. This is the content. Well, this is not all of the content, mm -hmm. but this is some of the content. Yes. This this report that was put together for 30 by 30. I'm not sure how much you guys know about it, but it's got all of our successes in it. And it's got all the information. And then um we also have all listed all the properties and all that so content is not the problem the problem is design and budget well I, I think content is a problem because it, when you start to look at the the design and and the budget if our budget isn't great then we might find ourselves taking the cut content like that and crunching it really well, we're deciding what we're going to have to really weed out and what we want to say and what we don't need to say. So. It, it's totally, we're totally going to have to crunch it, but I, and I've always been uh, in favor of having a little subcommittee. We don't have to have, we don't have to make decisions in a subcommittee. We can have subcommittee meetings. This board can have subcommittee meetings. There's no reason why we can, we're not taking any action. Um, but to do it as a big group, I think is just going to be a nightmare. Myself is all that digitized, or is that just? Yeah, I have the file names right on here. Who owns the files? They're on my. This report is in our, um, as a PDF is in our um, Google Drive. So I need to find out. But the files are mine. The files are mine because I made so I these yeah. on um, uh, um, what's pages? What was the Macintosh one? <laughs> yeah, pages. So it's in, uh, it's in our where, Sue? Yes. Um, go to go into general land bond up there and see. Right. Okay. See, maybe they're in. Maybe they are individual things. Land bond references benchmark copy. Okay. Reports. Uh. Was the 30 by 30? Yeah, there, there, there. Look, 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 that one right there. Click on that copy of PCLB over to the right. Was the 30 by 30 committee? Okay, uh, see how big that one is. So this is this is it, but it's six pages. Right. But like a bunch of those 66 are 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 not um they're they're historical. So there's part of the open space plan, there's part of the growth and service plan, there's part of okay, so. You can just see the stuff that's sort of designed let's, out. Let's, let's get back to the ownership. If it was produced on behalf of the Fox and Conservation. No, I Board. produced it. She made it. I did. This is my. She made this. I, I, I'm, I'm looking at what the title says. You presented it as part of a workshop on behalf of PCLB. Correct. In which case, PCLB or well, the town of Scarborough owns it. I, I've done a lot of work. Oh, yeah. It owns it. I don't think that's a problem. Yeah. No so problem. That that takes no care sense, of that. But oh. yeah, but you know, you you yeah. might you don't own it anymore. No, I don't know. No, no, I don't. Man. No, I don't. So the reason why I was asking that's not what I meant. I, what like I meant that. was right. So you made all this. Yeah. So you have it. So if we if you wanted any of it, you, you know, we don't just retype this. You have it. Take it. Put it together. Format. Exactly. That's what I'm that's, saying. Yes. Yeah. And go and go down in the in the actual pages. Keep going, keep going, keep going. So, you know, there's data here. Yeah. It, it, you know, when I talk about subcommittee looking at it, there's some updates probably that need to be and make and check, checking to make sure the numbers are correct, which I've already started to do uh, based on what the land trust says. Keep going, 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 going. Uh, see this, this is all, this is all just attitude services. So that's none, that's all old, 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 yeah. old stuff. But there's a there's the whole list of the it's this yeah yeah uh, all the properties and this has general mini descriptions about what the properties are but it doesn't say like okay this says like Broadburn Farm it says who owns it there was funding it was leased but some of them say you know it's um 
like the recommendations list what the qualities of each property are. And, you know, we don't know what the land trust put, put, um, put trails on or how many visitors they have to a property or those kinds of things. That's the kind of data I don't have. I think my, what I would like to see happen is that today we have a request that we provide to each applicant because it's not just Scarborough interest, but Scarborough interest and all, all other applicants where they provide us specific information that we were, we asked for. And some of them we have like the year, the acres, but um, the total cost, the leverage, the partners, photos, that sort of thing. But also I think you're hinting at it as what I'm calling a brief narrative, which focuses on the benefits that the parcel or the project provides, right? We have built a trail and our car counts say that we get 10,000, you know, that we would ask, we would ask each applicant who received land bond funds to provide us that information so that we as a committee or I don't know what to call us, we PCLB are not responsible for creating that information. Yeah. Or you could just pull the paragraph out of each recommendation that says what the quality is. Well, that but won't it, give us historic, but that won't say. That won't say, did they build trail? Okay. And okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, then, then, then I think we need a, to start off with a different discussion because we really have to talk what we intend this for. If we want this available to the public so they understand the importance of the land bond and what is a comp what they as a public have accomplished with their investment with their investment yeah. if we get more than eight pages we lose them yeah i they're I, done they go i think short i agree straightforward but light, light on text and photos so and that's why i was asking starting the conversation with working backwards from because we have a lot of the content that yeah i love this and sue put together and that's why i was asking about timeline because you know, I went through the reports that just get pulled together and there's parts and pieces of each one that are great, but, you know, to get a finished part, the first parcel that you guys funded, you know, with land bond money under the first bond is going to have probably a lot more data than the one we just approved of recent because of development and things that have happened. And so, you know, I just want to make sure that, again, because I think some of this may have to come from my staff because we're talking about budget. I don't know that we have one. I'm not aware that we have any. So, <laughs> so the, the part of it is is really important what you've already done. Oh, how, yeah. how we pull it together and get the right pieces to the right staffers that can kind of frame something up. But you know, and again, the most important pages that I found, and I think in our kind of timeline, is this one on the. Um, yeah, I love this. Open yeah, Parts that's Space great. Institute. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was by the numbers as of the date yeah. that they did this. Yeah, that's and it showed how many acres and yeah, that different. would come out to one page because it'd be a back and a front. No, back and a front, yeah. and it's super easy that a yeah. kid could pick it up. Yeah, and read it. You yeah. know what I mean? I like it um, too. But that's, that's what, the reason I like the San Diego one is it, it was very similar. Yeah. It, it contained those areas that we would want to highlight. Some yeah. of the others got. They, they did so much more. Right. And when you um, look at like. Yeah. What was that one that you put? So I, can, I want to make sure. Yes, that was the, the uh, Open Space Institute. Outdoor Space Institute. Because again, when you talk about the format and the content, yeah, that's like when you look at, um, you know, that whole report, when you look at how they did their land descriptions. Oh, yeah. I also like that. That's on page um, 14. Yeah, Right there, just get those little snippets. So yes. little yes. Yes. I really a like... nice picture with a catchy title, yeah, and then a one paragraph yeah. right up that about it. Narrative. And again, parks that have or pieces of parcel parcels that have been have more options than that narrative maybe may take a you know you may have one parcel on one page versus the snippets, but you can grow that out. Yeah. Um, no, I like that too because this is a lot of when I'm looking at these, it was like. You got the data. Oh, definitely do that. And no. then how do you get it where people are going to want to pick it up and read it? Right. Um, I thought those were pretty too with the orange blocks, but I didn't know if that got too short. Those were too, yeah, those are nice too. I mean, that's, yeah, there's, there's, but multiple. that's on the same, they, that they did a few like this and a few like that. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. 
Yeah, depending on what they were doing. Um, yeah, like they did one page of the do do and then one page of this or whatever. So again, I think that again, just listening to the conversation about a month is would be a probably a a, 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 a heavy lift to get the two pager done. You know what I mean? When you think about mm -hmm. just how much is sitting here and then rifling through it. Because again, if you're going to, if this board is going to take the time to actually create this report, you know, it's going to take multiple meetings or, like you said, a subcommittee just to develop what content goes and what you want. There's a lot to it. You know, how do people feel about the goal of the two pager? The, the handout. I do think well, that would get the most eyes. I, I think it's just barely doable. But possible. <laughs> I mean, nothing else. Yeah. I mean, you know, nothing else. And and I'm talking about longer term too. Um, we're not going to produce a 40 page fancy color thing unless one of us decides they're just going to dedicate themselves to it. I'm not, it's not my thing. It's a big, big work. It's a yeah, that's a big project. I mean, we need dedicated resources to pull off the kinds of things that Monmouth and places like this are doing in these reports. I mean, these are, these are serious quality productions. That's just a bunch of people, you know, you know, doing a little bit on their own. And I have some pretty talented staff, but I know what their workload is. And if we said, okay, our goal is to have a draft report in six months, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah, every meeting. And that's why we asked a year ago <laughs> right, for right, funding. Right, 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 right. But again, it still would have taken us, yeah. you know, no, to, I know, to put the pieces together to say, okay, for the next meeting, we're working on this section. Yeah. We'll have something for you to look at. You know what I mean? And you bat it around your board. We make comments and then it gets produced in the background. But, you know, to get everything kind of laid out there, there's there's a lot of behind the scenes. And I know that because um, I get it all the time. Uh, the people that do the graphics don't care about the data. Not they don't care. It's probably not the right word, but they're looking at how it all ties together and formatting. They're not going back and be like, "Oh, that should be point two and not two percent." Right, you right, know what right, I mean? right, right. It's yeah. like that's not that's not their that's real. not their skill set, and that's exactly. Funny. So like well, we do stuff. It's like you know, a question on a subcommittee. Can a subcommittee include a volunteer who is not a member of this committee? I would. I, I I would say yes if there's a special skill because oh, we as we we're, yes. in terms of we're we're really familiar with all of of the data so if it's somebody um, let's say who's really good at the layout or the graphics well, that that sort of stuff fine fine arts yes. yeah yeah something along know. that line yes. who won't get immersed doesn't need to get immersed in the data because we yeah. are well, then that would be helpful. I could ask. That would be yeah. helpful. That'd be great. That'd be great. Yeah, anybody, any committee and subcommittee can bring volunteers in so that they have no decision-making powers. You know what I mean? That's the whole well, subcommittee has no decision-making power, right? Right, they got to come back to the board. Okay, yeah. right. So, so somebody, we can bring a volunteer in and sit at the table and say, hey, we can do this and this and that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Just, they can show us. I, I like the idea of doing the subcommittee, but it's, going to be at least a year time for this because your people are tapped out. Yeah. Sue is is Sue and Doug are key people in the data portion. It's just I know how much time stuff takes. Yeah. We can do that. I, I feel like we can oh, do yeah. that. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. If there's a subcommittee that's willing to concentrate, we can do the two pager in about a week and a half because we have everything there. I think that and, and, and then and then it's time to work with the data. That's a start. The, the two so pages content primarily for November, yep. right? Right. And you did. Yes. Yeah. So for those two things, I think we need to parse those two things. The, the it's two gonna pager and the report. Yeah. Those are the two pager is more more urgent than the twenty year report. Well, especially when um, absentee value you said starts the month before. The month so before. that's yeah. Yeah. We want that. Two pages are very different animals. It's got a different time frame. It's got different attention span. It's a, actually a different audience. The 20 years more, it's going to be very useful for us as well as anybody that, you know, wants to apply for a project or a town council. It's a very different audience. So I think that those two things need to be 
separated. Yeah, I, I think that it would be, I think it'd be more successful if we just focused on the one or the other. So would it make sense for this meeting, Jessica, as a chair, you can be, you know, owner, you know, chime in, but I'm just hearing what I'm hearing, would it make be better use of our time today to decide what data points you want on a two pager? I think so. I think yeah, that's what exactly. we do it today. Do you know what I mean? Because if you go through and we could use these as a format, total acres and just write yeah. it down because then I can be talking, you know, about what, what kind of graphics or what, you know, in the background, but the data is okay. It's total acres. Okay. It's, you know, I think you're, that's, I, I agree for yeah. sure. But there's a couple of things that I'd like to finish up. Yeah. And, and, and finish. And that is first, if there's a preference on which of those five models, we should know that so yeah. that when the subcommittee it's does okay. get formed, it says, okay, yeah. this is the one that's preferred. Yeah. And also, um, is it going to be print, which is expensive? And honestly, I think people take them, scan it, throw it away, or file it someplace. Where's, so, what, what, when is the, um, what's the date of the, End of the summer fest tomorrow. <laughs> that day would be so not <laughs> summer fest. It's not. It is too. Friday. Is it always it's a Friday? Not. I thought it was Saturday. No. No. Thank God it's on Friday. 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 Well, I'd say the first thing is, yeah. Yes. Let's let's get an idea about the sample that we like. Yep. And ideas for the title. And what else were we intending to do today? That was pretty much it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think okay. those are good things. I think as far as the print And design, then we can spend the rest of this time talking yeah. about that more urgent. Yeah. Summer. I think it's the print and the title. I think it, the print cost, we won't know until how many pages this thing turns out They're to be. They're very expensive. Right. I think we design it for electronic. I and if we need to print, you can print it. I'll you tell you the it. nice thing about electronics is if you're 22 years old, you're going to be looking at video clips. Yeah. So I think we can tell such a better story, a more interesting story, not better, but a more colorful story by using video clips and people walking through the property or right. what have it's been, it's, has been identified. Yeah, because once the document is digitized, you just drop in a link and it could be a video that somebody took of you know walking through broad turn and here's here's the thing here's the yeah you, can, you know it's an always evolving visitors to yeah. send upload a link. So, so we so we need to make sure that we have a list of all of the properties. Correct? Yeah and that's it. Yeah. And um I, I'm not sure we should deal if we if we are down to two pages, front and back. I, I'm not sure that we need to deal with which format we want to use because no, I think that's Rick was... not to be really limiting. But I also have, um, also have another question. If we started when, when we say twenty years, is oh. it two thousand and four? Two thousand and. It depends or was the first talking about town investment or in land land the bond, bond was 2001 but the first purchase with funds was 2004 and i say but, that because we've got a spreadsheet that does need some updating in the folder i the broad I, farm was the first one yeah. that was 2004 2001 fuller farm but it was an appropriation right but but let's talk about parks and conservation land board activities and conservation activities. And what I'm saying is we, we're we getting ourselves kind of crunched by saying it's gonna be 20 years. Oh yeah, next that's year, the, next yeah. year is 25 years. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, oh, that, so no. we can yeah, say that's, that's nice. No, no, no. Yeah. Let's move to yeah, that's why get we, that done for a to Rick's point, I think that's months. why the title is yeah. important in the sense yeah. we don't need to put a year because in 10 years it's not a, we're not changing it to a 35 year report. It's right. you know, so I think to Rick's point, getting the title. Um, is so important. I don't think we need to pick a title, but I think we need to prefer a title. It needs to have a, yeah. Yeah. So we got the subject. It needs to have a work. Take it, so this is really good. So my suggestion would be just because I would like the broader audience. I'm, I'm fine with the annual report, even though it's not going to be annual. But my suggestion would be Parks and Conservation Storyboard, or Storybook, I mean, Parks and Conservation Storybook, 
to suggest that it's more than an analytical data report, mm -hmm. but we can still put the data in it. And I, the reason I wanted parks and conservation is because I do want to tie it to this committee mm -hmm. that identifies yeah. us. And the storybook says, you know, this is going to be worth reading. It's a fun read. Yes, I do think it needs to be fun. I think you're right. Oh, it doesn't just yeah. like, yeah. this is a spreadsheet with all the <laughs> Yeah, which, which is important. Which is important, but not right. for everyone. But, but you've got to put frosting on. Yes. yes. <laughs> I like sprinkles myself. Yeah. Rainbow or chocolate? It doesn't matter. Every time I go to Dunkin' Donuts, I want strawberry frosted donut, and they said you want sprinkles. I'm like, but of course. <laughs> like, why would you? If you're going to go with a strawberry frosted donut, why would you put sprinkles on it? <laughs> yeah, no, I like the I like the concept of making it an animated type yeah. of read or view or watch or yeah. it doesn't hold us to anything whatever that title ends up so that's our our subcommittee project the two page the parks and conservation storybook that's that's the long term that's the long term that's the long term yeah long term the the near term is uh is there anything else that we need to decide for that today um yeah or discuss digital space is that something that the town can host yes and would we have enough access to it to change it as yes. it needs to be updated yeah so seasonality for example yes and so what we once we figure out if that's the route we want to go then i can get nicole and jill and it together well for my department to sit down and meet because the, the websites are all different but it's whether it's a link or whether it's uh, stuff in the background or download that's well out of my wheelhouse and so yeah. but yeah anything that any of the boards do or committees or town does gets hosted on the town site and then that stuff depending on the format um, is how it gets updated um, okay so and I think some and we can talk about once we get to the, the bigger project of the storybook or whatever the final name will end up being is that how it's done because it may be kept in pieces you know what I mean? And then that way, um, but it all gets strung together when the public sees it. So if you want to go edit something, you're pulling one piece out versus 200 pages. And then, but I can have on the digital side how that's best cataloged and kept for future edits. Um, so I, I can do that piece. The so the uh, sheet, the file that you have in here <clears throat> in your presentation, I think it's the one you put printed right in front of you there, the one on top. This. Yeah. How do we? We need to get that up. That there. is. Uh, as, it's as it's twelve. That is. Um, there are two properties that aren't included. Two more no, properties. There's, yeah. There's a draft version which we briefly showed last meeting, which is in the, which is it, which is not complete. I think that there's some new data that's been recently made available. And I can let Scott talk to that. So, are, you, is, are you talking about the financial piece or were you talking about the description piece? Description piece. Yeah, but, he's not talking about the financial oh, okay, piece. Okay. This, um, this is description plus purchase price yeah. plus town funding. There's two town, more properties town that aren't on there. Action funds. Those those are that's key information. That's, yeah. So that's so the yeah, so other. So here's the thing: we have to figure out what we include because as I went through and wrote down when each of these went, and then we don't have on here the Muzzy Road or the Silver Brook. What I realized is we also gave quote unquote loans to the land trust that if they got a grant back that they were going to refund us. And there's one of those. A, do we include that acreage or well, not? There's two because they wouldn't there's have two. happened but for yeah. the land bond because it's a br bridge loan essentially. Exactly. So we would include that as oh, I think absolutely. I, I do too. But yeah. do we categorize it differently? Or we no, just say I, I it's mean, this this is what's protected. been this is what has been acquired as a result of the efforts of yeah. Yeah. Fox Conservation Land Board working with. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. I just want to make so sure. So when we go through 
whatever format we're going to talk about for that two page sheet when we get to it. Yeah. We can take each area yeah. and ask any questions of each area then to make so like yeah. you just yeah. said, are we including it or not? And we can make notes when we do, we make sure we get the right number. And when we're looking at donors and states and whatever, yeah. Each each cube we can ask questions and you guys can then decide how you want to go. I think that the most basic and the most complicated is actually acres. Like yes. we can't have a handout that doesn't say acres, but we have to so. right, right. That's why I guess I brought it up yeah. because also we have Elders Hall and we have that. And so it's not just acres. If we're really right. going to be accurate, we've be got to, yeah, and that's well, what we have to think about that. Could, could be yes, yeah, could problem. be another block. Right. Could right. Be. There's well, acres, yes. then, yeah. Yeah. numbers, Buildings, projects, facilities. Yeah. So to finish Rick's comments, okay. is there a form because he had three things? It was Design, we talked about a little bit. It was print and digital, we talked about a little bit, and it was title. Um, and then it was really the first one was kind of like, is there a format that people like as far as the main report goes that we want to be kind of queuing off of? I liked OSIs because I liked how they talked about the Which one is we look So this is OSI right here. That was my second favorite. So it's fine. Yeah, I love but, that. What was your first favorite? The third one. Is Monmouth? I'll tell you why. Uh, this is the York one. No. Uh, this is this one. Um, there was parts and pieces. This is the Chaffee. 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 And then this is the the. Uh, uh, what do you got? It was York County. It's the third one. It was. This one. scroll down a little bit. This is your oh company. wait one. I was wrong. This one. <laughs> Which one is that? Monmouth. Was it Monmouth? Could have been. See on the list. The reason I liked it is first. because it kept talking about achievement. Yeah. Accomplishments. Accomplishments. Yeah. Yes. That I is also, the one that I like. I agree. I also like that it was very um photo forward. Yeah. Yes, I did. The one. Monmouth. It's the one you talked about. That is my yes. favorite, actually. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. I was yeah. Yeah, so I think that I agree. Yeah. Um, when I was going through it, and because I think looking at all four, there's parts and pieces that I like of all yeah. four. And it may be as simple as the word achievement versus purchase or, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, accomplishment, accomplishment versus success. You know, some of the wording and the flavor of it. Um, so I think Unparalleled. there's parallel. Yeah. So I think there's parts and pieces of the. Here, let's go down it because I got a recall. What it was. So I did. I agree. Yeah. I like that it was very image heavy, not yeah, yeah. facts heavy. Some of them are like, oh my yeah. god, image. So yeah. And so I think that that's. I think this characteristics when we get to talking about it, the subcommittee talks about the report. I think that there's uh, design characteristics that you guys will have to decide on, like image heavy versus text heavy. You know, infographics versus charts. Um, <laughs> type of type of things. Just to, certain pages are. Um, you know, I know if Jill was looking at she'd be like, oh my God, these pictures are horrible. They are horrible. They're not very good high yeah. resolution. You know, and so those type, yeah. <laughs> but the but the but the message is, you know, right. that's what's important. Everything else can get. So yeah, I think that uh I like I like this one because all the pictures are fantastic. I like yeah, I really I like these this for the well, this one was a PowerPoint presentation. Yeah, no. And this one lost me. I like some of the pictures, but it was, Ugh, text. So much blah blah. blah. Yeah, a lot of text. <laughs> so I think that is it simple to say that maybe a combination of you know Monmouth and OSI. Yeah, you know what I mean? As far as the picture heavy reduced mm -hmm. text. You can always have appendixes with Data driven with the yeah, data driven right. people. Yes, exactly. You know what I mean? But you know, you look at the first 20 pages of the report, and that's really the showcase of it. And then the back hundred is all the, you know, the data of that's kind of the, you know. Yep. And the positive language. I think that's a key, yeah. the very positive affirming yeah. language. Yeah. yeah. Um, so is that the one on o the OSI one, uh, one with the the blocks of this here? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I I that's, like the black looks. I like the this, but would it would it work with photos? I I had that good exact one for the two page. That's what I think. It's great for two pager, but instead of that, but photos. Could we? Isn't there a way you take a photo and you make it more of an infographic, like use Scarra specific imagery and make it a little? 
I'm afraid to be too busy with that. Like so photos, but yeah, unless yeah, was... I can check. I can check with Jill. She's our digital. That's I can, I can find the only thing about, and I'll just say this in our time frame. Yeah. Yeah. This is perfect because it comes from a piece of clip art on the computer. Yes. We're going to have to go find the game agree on. 10 photos in three weeks. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? In this, no, I, no, I I'm, I'm trying to think of process here in the sense of. No, I know, get it. Uh, uh, I, but it I does not it. mean for the final one, there's no this. Yeah. It's all, you find the good picture or you go take a picture. Yeah. And, you know, but maybe we have a com compilation of pictures somewhere that I don't know about. And I do know that these often have multiple versions. So, for example, like that's really mountainy. There's usually like, Four versions of the stream and you can make it more when i've done it in the past you can make it more local oh yeah yeah you can go find a box yeah yeah, exactly. West Coast. yeah 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 you can we're make... not going to go buy and get a, a bird that doesn't exist in scarf exactly yeah. exactly what i'm saying it's not like it's <laughs> these rock there's, mountains there's some flexibility in even the infographics to make it more like you can make it look like a city or it can make it like a look like a farm. You can yeah, you can yeah, we don't need the Eiffel Tower and the yes. you know facilities discussion. How many photos do they actually have in there? Well, I think so. You said well, eleven. So, so again, my suggestion would be to go through these data points. Yes, I think we're right. And right. let's do that first. Go yeah. through the data points and get the categories. Yeah. And then you guys can tweak, okay, like you said, uh you, we have facilities because we bought Al Jabal. We bought so you might have to change some of the titles. Yeah. But at least it yeah. gets you thinking about yeah, what's there. And then that's a launching point for the design. Yeah. Um, so you want to start with the first one? I think we have to do it. Yeah. So it's protect and added more than so many acres, federal, state, and local property. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So total acres? Acres. And we decided it includes, includes uh, all bridge loans, mm -hmm. everything. Yep. All funding as well as appropriate. All funding. Since <laughs> remind me of the appropriation. Does it include the appropriation too? The appropriation for farm. Two hundred and fifty thousand. Right. And that means the town just came up with that money. It wasn't bonded. It was not bonded. Okay. So that if we titled this don't even want to talk. Don't even want to talk about oh, it. I yes, that. we. I, I. I think yes, we do. I. I think one of the things that I was thinking of in terms of a title, we're going to follow that for the two years or two pages. Politically, we need to show as much um, activity as possible, whether it was immediately paid for by a bond or the town voted for it, so that. What we're saying is that it's the town of Scott Scarborough, colon, Scarborough 20 Bridge. years of conservation achievements. In other words, the whole town. So then we can pull in anything else that the town paid for um, and find a place to put in uh, then to talk about the bonds. Because the people, what we want is the people of Scarborough to say we're part of this whole conservation effort that Scarborough as a whole has been doing. Bond is one way. The town has also stepped forward. And if the land has been acquired, it's the conservation effort or achievement of the whole town of Scarborough. Because one way or the other, taxpayers paid for it. How many, how many projects or parcels has been purchased outside of land bond use? We're talking about 180 acres okay. from Fuller Farm. Probably four. Where do you get four? I, get I think it's Fuller, Danish Village. Oh, five. oh. Yeah, there's three there. So oh, it right. makes sense yeah. to... What about Alger Falls? That's all that was land bond. So that, that's another one. So I'm just looking at the list of <clears throat> Sue's presentation. But we have Fuller Farm, Danish Village, Archway, Beach Ridge Schoolhouse, William King Temple. And Eldra Hall, I guess. Eldra Hall is one. That was William King Temple is Eldra Hall. Yeah. Oh, it's the same thing. Okay, yeah. good. Good. So, yeah. you, uh, so four. Four. those are four. facilities or buildings that are items that are within the land. No, they were in the bond. The yeah, only non-bonded one was the Fuller Farm. Yeah, three of them. Okay, we're in there. I, I don't just I don't I don't have any problem with having included in terms of Scarborough's 
conservation accomplishments because it's very much one of those things. Um, I would like to have us, uh, this may be impossible because people don't pay attention, but um, I, would, I would love to have us be able to differentiate between what the land bonding has done. Because right now in this town, people are hung up on the bonding. How did it work? You know, six million bucks in a bond that we're going to approve in November. That's the hang. You know, and and so we have to, we're going to produce something short term here that's going to, we need to make sure that there's differentiation between what bonding is paying for and what other things are paying for. But I, I agree totally that Fuller Farm is an accomplishment of the town of Scarborough and people of Scarborough in terms of conservation needs to be included. They could have their own box. Well, I, so I think that I, I agree with both Rachel and Doug, but I think for this document and the time that we have, I think that the way my simple mind works, if we said, you know, what's the total amount of money Scarborough's given in land bonds since it started? I don't know. 7.5. 7.5 7 million has been allocated for conservation. That's that number should be the number, the acreage, all that sort of stuff for this, at this stage with this two page. I think there can be one box on the sheet that says uh, total effort of Scarborough. It could be 8 million and right. another 180 acres for Fuller Farm or whatever it is, you know what I mean? But it could be just a, a, a highlight, <laughs> but all the data, because then if we don't, then there's so many decisions to make. Does this get included? Does that get included? You know what I mean? If we just go off of, that 7.5 million of land bond money at least keeps us very straight as far as the accounting goes. And it's our purview as PCLB. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I do with Rachel Rachel to be able to highlight it, at least in one box that says, that. you know. Yeah, it's just a matter of you included in the acreage because, or are you going to separate that acreage? I think we out? separate it and we say additional, additionally. Additional acreage. Yeah, I would say additionally supported 184, you know what I mean? It's own little highlight box, money and acreage. And then it's then people can <clears throat> correlate it any way they want. Them. And people just want to be able to look at the land bond. And then it makes decisions for the subcommittee very clear. But then then um then we can also put in keep a, <clears throat> try and keep the numbers even or, or consonant with each other, the the land bond and the amount leveraged. Yes. 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 True. So yeah. seven point two million leveraged. Yes. This. Yeah. Yes. So that yeah. That makes sense. So, uh, so that's eight a, acres and that's leverage. a that's a one yeah. of those yeah. one of those sections. Yes. That lets us do it. That yeah. lets us do it. Yeah. <clears throat> so yes. Uh so what I have on my list is none of uh, is acres, yes, leverage, yes. That's two boxes. Where are you seeing? Oh no, it's not on here. It's gonna be on ours. <clears throat> Because this, this is kind of specific to this, you know, so we're trying to pick things. So on, we'll just read what they had on there. So they did total protected and added acres because it's national, right? Federal. Uh, the amount of donors, states and county, because they serve across the country. Well, when we talk about, okay, on that, and that's when to keep going. I just wanted to stop at donors. There are a whole bunch of leveraged people that have helped, which is, are we going to include those at all? State uh, of Maine, are we, outdoor heritage. Or do we are we going to put that on the two pager? So is our just, just the part, is, just is the our goal right now to change that fifty thousand to some other number? So what we're talking about? Our goal is to pick the titles of the 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 like data the, box. The so let's go over to the data box first because that's going to inform what the other boxes are going to say. So obviously the two thousand twenty three needs to come out, right? Right. So, oh, well, we could even be land bond by the numbers. Yeah, how so. about is parks and cons conservation? Because again, well, that's a better by, that's the better by the numbers yep. to link it to costs, parks and conservation. And Doug, you, you have picked up the point that land bond didn't end up that money didn't end up in full of harm, but did land funds. End up in Fuller Farm, not no. the bond fund. Well, I mean, town pay for it. Is it fair to say parks and conservation land funds 
by the numbers or park parks and conservation by the numbers? I think if it's its own box, it is fair. I, if okay. it's its own box, does it need to be I, its I own just, box? There shouldn't be so, we, it so, shouldn't be included in anything related okay. to bonding. Okay, we'll, yeah. we'll do that. Fine. So let's take out the 2023. Yeah. Keep by the numbers. Add in parks and conservation. Yeah. Parks and conservation yeah. by the numbers is that so? But it has to have some place on there. It has to have town of Scarborough, either a banner across the top, or in that first box. Yeah. It has to be identified as town of Scarborough. Yeah. Yeah. I leave that to the designers. Yeah, there. we can do that. Yeah. No, we actually little duck ahead. So taking out 2023, keeping by the numbers, putting in parks and conservation. Yeah. Nothing else. Land bond. Nothing else. But put in some place, town of Scarborough yep. as an identifier. Yeah, we when we when we do when we do the two page, we can do it. Okay, so moving on to the next one. <clears throat> protected is a valid term. Well, protected or conservation. Um, that protected and conserved instead of added. Why why is protected a bad word? Some people like don't protected. like protection because it takes land off the tax rolls and. Oh puts fences up and makes people can't eat. Some people don't like the term. The people will fight about yeah. the term open oh, space right. too. <laughs> that's all right. Yeah. Right. So which one do you, instead so of protected what? Conserved acres? Conserved and added more than? Protected? I don't object to protected if it turns some people off. They're probably not going to vote anyway for it. And I think it's more truthful. Mm -hmm. So I would say protected more than X number of acres. Well, it's also going to be directly next to conservation. So it's like conserved conservation. I don't like the, that's just nitpicky. Like to okay. keep repeating the words. So you're just, it's nice to have synonyms protected. Okay. Works for me. So we're going to stick with just the land bond yes. conservation. Yeah. We'll just, okay. Yeah. Because when we get to the um, a larger report, there are additional uh, lands conserved that basically the land trust did not pay for and Scarborough did not pay for. Rachel's correct. Protected through or with. I'm also going to suggest land. that we put in protected 50,000 acres, whatever the number is then strike that extra line. It doesn't really matter for our purposes, whether it's federal, state, or municipal. Yeah, or, yeah. yeah. Or I think private. just a highlight. Just no, but it, it might, it, as we go down further, it yeah. might, because this is very specific for some endangered species, and we right. might find out that we don't want to get that specific. We might say protected such and such acres, fields, Forest, marsh, beach, yeah, or something like yeah, that. I love that. Sure. Yeah, put that. Or no, right underneath that, put maybe. That right in, instead of instead federal, of federal, state, local. That, well, I know I don't want to. What fields, fields forests, forest, marshes? Sure. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, streams, yeah. rivers. You could say a million things, whatever. That's a great idea. But I'm just saying it because I have a feeling we're not going to get as specific as some of this is. But I do think it needs to be protected with. Through the, the land bond, right? We need it. We're going to clarify the acreage. Unknown caller. We've talked around that in a number of different ways. Or Scarborough has protected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just, I mean, if we're going to, if it's going to be the stuff that's protected, that's just say Scarborough protected and included, then, you know, the numbers related to the, I, I, I was just saying that we should differentiate at some point, whether it's this. Or something else. I don't think this is the best place to differentiate anything. This is right. this is really yeah. This, this is, is not new. This is glance of stuff. Let okay. us get some rough data so, down, and then we can dive. I just don't want anybody to be there. confused about what the bonds did, yeah. as opposed to what Scarborough has done. Right. I also don't think, but I also don't want people to be confused that all of the land bond money went for conservation. Correct. Because it did uh, went into. Pet projects so they're found. So. Well, I think that a box is historic properties because that is a yeah. purpose, and so it's 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 part of the land. Made. It is part. It is legitimate part of the land bond. So yeah, a separate box that says historic properties preserved. Yeah. yeah. And that was part of the plan. I mean, yeah. it's yeah. you know, it's all part of the plan. So. So is it three or four? Do we know three? I want to say three, but three. Yeah, three historic. 
properties. For sure. Oh, do we want to use the word properties? Yeah, I was trying or to think structure. because the arch isn't like, structures. Yeah. Um, I don't like facilities. We can wordsmith it. Yeah. So are there. Um, so acres is the first data. Yeah. We know we want acres and we know we want them to be able to do the stored properties or whatever word we choose. Can we put the. Uh, do we put the appropriation in this historic preservation or not? Well, the appropriation is part of the total acres. Protected, right? Yes. So the, not, not, no, we weren't going to include Fuller Farm if we're doing this just on the bond. Let's, no, 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 no. What he's talking let's, about. Let's move on to the next box because we can always go back and right. revise. Well, let's, let, well, let's revise. Well, let's make sure we know what's going into acres before we move on. What's I mean, that? Let's make sure we know what's going in, into acres. I, I was not arguing that Fuller Farm shouldn't be in the total acreage. I think it should. Um, Oh, because that's protected. That's protected acreage. The town did that. Okay, I agree with that argument totally. Oh, okay. uh, when we get down to bonding numbers, you know, I, I would like to have some separate, but that's a separate. Okay, okay. Let's move on to that so, third box. So the third box is we don't donors states. We don't and have countries. donors, so that needs to come out. Well, do we want a box on partners? That's we what I would. Partners. It yeah. doesn't matter if it's state forty six three counties. We don't need that, but. We could count up the number of partners that we've worked with and put that number in. Partners, and I think, yeah, I think that. I, how do we define it? Parks and Conservation, per se, has not really worked with right. partners other than the land trust, although we can. Well, no. The land trust well, works actually, with partners. No, there's a whole it's not list of partners. We're funding. Funding. Participants, yeah, like it's the funding part. It's LMF. It's yeah. it's, so it's e -E 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 -E. Yeah, yeah. LMF, yeah. DEP, because in the fishery and wildlife. We um, know we go from I would suggest yeah, from US, partners, US, yeah. wildlife to the I mean, amount leverage. There's a lot, and we're leveraging that from partners. So funding okay. partners, or partnerships. I, I, in that next box, I would leverage. just say, in small letters, with forty partners and we don't need to list them right 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 number of partners. it just has to be true so i mean we do need to go through and say okay there's you know there's yeah. land trust friends of the marsh yeah historical society I, yeah you know, i agree so i think once we lot these yeah, data boxes a lot. i think every we everybody needs to take an assignment yes. if you find the number of partners you find the number of partners right. to be able to fill these data holes so, I'm making lines right now. So I've got really. partners, which are organizations, and yeah. then we have um, programs and agencies that have just leave funded. it in partners. Oh, it's uh, all going to go in partners. Yeah, put it all in partners. Part, okay. Yeah, I mean, okay, so it's just going to be foundations, partners. everything. So, I mean, they're so, all they're all partners to this town is basically funding of these projects. This is basically a, a picture, yeah. and the fewer words we put into yeah. it, yeah, the better. <laughs> The more the longer down the page people will read. Exactly. Yep. And then in the full report, you dissect and break out. Right. Okay. All right. So then. So we've got acres, so, historic so, properties, preserved, leverage, partners. Yeah. We're, we're all on. Yep. And missing. these next couple boxes, and you guys can think about it, they break down the type of acreage within their total acreage. Do you guys want to go that far? I that's, think we have no, time. But we, so, well, so I don't think we can either. I'm just. I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying these next couple slides, that's what they've done. There's they've a big take, difference between what we want to do and what we can't right. do. I don't they've think taken their 50,000 acres and divided it out. So, well, frankly, this is busier than we need. I mean, yes. we're, yeah, we're, not, yeah. we're not at this level. No, no. Um, so well, world. except there. that we've got to fill it with something. And it is pretty, I mean, if we went through every application, so we would be able to somewhat, it wouldn't have to be the exact what, what acreage. If, what if you remove the acreage and listed the types of species that we have contemplated in our assessment tool, cottontail rabbit and to, uh, you, you mean just have the total acres and then in the next uh, slide, protected species yep. or species protected and list list right. those. By this, by this, through this like preservation. Where it says protect 
protected fall long lead pine habitat. We could put through, I mean, obviously open space trails, but whatever that might come a little bit lower. Yeah. But if we just dedicated that woodpecker box to, to protect the species, a list of what out those species like. and habitat protected. Yeah. To yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we have four boxes. Another thing we could do uh, along these lines, as opposed to putting stuff up there on cottontail rabbits, which you know we don't even have any data that shows we protected any cottontail rabbits. I mean, so you know, I know people talk about it, but you know, there are, there are issues with <laughs> what species are being protected. Um, whereas they had very specific stuff they were doing for storks and stuff like that. But we, one thing we have done is we've we have. We we could have a box for uh, for acres of open space conserved for farms yes. conserved yeah. for um, for uh, uh, historical sites preserved oh, for sites, public but... access yeah um, preserved um, yep. you know such as Higgins Beach etc. So there's you know there's the, we could have boxes for all of those. Acres well, for this, acres for that. Instead of instead of forested and storks and and woodpeckers. Wait, uh, what did you say? You said historic. We've got historic it's already. It's it's like historic. But what did you say? The farms. Oh, farm. Oh, yes, yeah. farm conserved. Um, I think it's important. But it just made me think of it when we were talking about uh, public access. Public access. So we can either do it as number of properties providing public access. That would be great. I think that's the slide. Yeah. That's fine. That's, put that in the big slide, 12,000 forests today. Just change that to number of access points. Yep. So we want access points. Well, or I don't know if we can actually like, count those up. Yeah. The, the way you said it was properties. Okay. Yeah. Which preserve public access. Yeah. Let's do the number of properties. That's much easier to go through the records and find. So I'm thinking that the text would be public access provided in big letters, then a number, and then else like the little word is sites or either. So let me ask a question Probably about that. Property, sorry. Mm -hmm. What sites besides the farms are not providing access? Doesn't matter. We're saying that it is <laughs> okay, just so we're all clear. So it's really only the farms. Well because every other site is is public. Hall. Oh, well, it it's current? public still. Well, I don't know if it's now high. Well, it was, but it won't be. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, but well, sure. That's, that's true. It's right. Going on. Yeah. right, right. As of today. Yeah. I think it doesn't. It, it, okay. It, All right. Okay. So it doesn't matter if it's that well, 100% do provide it. But that's like, that's great. Everything has provided public access. Maybe it's all of them, but at least we have a number for yes. it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what percentage is that? All of them. And in that box, don't go up. Yeah. Uh, in that box, right to the right of that. The 108 pairs. 18,000 acres. Oh, sorry, this one. Yeah. yeah. That would be a good sized box for historical preservations. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Percentage wise, yeah. those are lower. So yeah. the box is smaller. I like sites. So one, two, three, four. I'm just making notes here. It's number six. Yeah, I put number six, but then I, I'm putting your recommendation yeah. where where he wants them. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm. I have eight. I only want. I only have well, six. Well, title box is one. This is two, oh, three, box. four, I've five, nine. six. I've got oh, you're title, including acres, historic sites, leverage, partner, species oh, protection. Oh, yeah, title. Title. Yeah. So that's seven. Yeah. Uh, seven. species protected. Oh, sorry, that one I didn't talk about. Species farms, and habitat. Farms and then public access. One, two, I have three. seven. Yeah, get, get what uh, Suzanne said, species and eight. habitats protected. Yeah. yeah. So wait. I have eight. I have seven. <laughs> Say it again. You got the title? Got the title. title. This is title. Title, acres. Uh, parks and tangible, but that's title. Scroll title. up on the page. Title. Number two is acres. acres. Number three, preservation, historic so preservation. Why don't you call that 50,000 acres, which we're going to make into some of them? Or box number two. This and that, yeah, box two. Okay. Box one. Partners. Partners. Is four. Three. One, two, three. If we go one, two, three. Yeah. Oh, I'm partners. not doing it in the order right now. 
I'm just then the woodpecker look. was going to be species and habitats protected. Yeah. Is box four. No. Box five. Public access. Public access. Good. I, I thought after the um after the partners, we were going to put uh, money leveraged or uh, partnerships yeah. leveraged. That's right. I didn't get that. That I think should oh, be was... in its in its own box. I had that that was partners with the acres. Partners was under the title box. Yeah, yeah. and then next to it would be so that would be number three. Partners with the money lay leveraged. In other words, if we just get the box, we may have to switch them yeah. around yeah. if there's yeah. not enough space. To yeah, write it well, let's just get the boxes and then yeah. we can prioritize them based on value okay. statements at the but end. Then, yes, can... leverage, then farms. And let's let's call the partners partners in funding. Partners in funding. Partners in funding or and funding? In funding. In funding. Yep. Or just funding partners. Funded part. This is me. Yeah, either way. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Just so that it's clear that these yeah. these were provided yeah. on. And then we can go to leverage. Yeah. You know, I still have eight. Title, acres. Historic uh, sites. Wait. Leverage. Wait, don't shh, shh. three. Lever go slower. Four. Leverage. Okay, go ahead. That's Part three. I got three, right? Wait. Partners in funding. Partners in funding is four. Species and habitats protected is five. It's five. No, one, two, one, two three, so five. It's six. Just to me then. No. Parks and cancer or title, title. title. number one. Yeah. Acres, Acres yeah. number two. Historic, Historic preservation number three. Leverage four. Leverage four. Species and habitats protected five. Okay, then partners and funding six. Oh, the leverage is leverage partners. And partners and funding together. Kind of the the leverage and partners the same thing. You're putting that in the same box. I think leverage. We were. I, I thought there were two separate I boxes. There were two boxes. I think, there's I think amount. that's yeah, there's the, the people we work with and then the amount that matches what's being spent because people uh, and and I would put also the percentage of leverage so yes. that people understand really clearly that um, Scarborough is just not going out and buying land. Right. Uh, that it's the partnership is actually X amount of money. Yes. And so they they so was the okay. Be a percentage? I was just going to say, then should it be close to it? If if you're going to do them separate, I thought they were. Well, I, I think should they, in other words, be side by side? Because if you're oh, your partners design, in yes. the leverage, yes. yeah, in the design. design, yeah, in the design. Yeah. So okay, so leverage is number four, and, is and partners is number five. So I, I have a concern about leverage, and that is the challenge of going through every single. We already did. We have Got it. it. We have it. We already have it. And, and land trusted, and we can double check. Okay. And we used. And we only got to use the bottom figure with council at the finance. It's close enough. Committee meeting. Okay. Those those numbers. Are it just has to be accurate for that. So you, I need to. Well, yeah. We can put down something that somebody can go through and say this isn't true. They, That's why these are accurate numbers. I mean, just got to update them, but they're accurate. I don't okay. even know. There's two properties on. Yeah, there's two yeah. properties. Yeah, just additions yeah. to it. Yeah, yes. and then I want to just double check. The land trust might have different numbers here. But yes. Yeah. We will. Uh, so is it going to be a? Do we want to do a match? Like. What, what about what about a box that says, um, forty partners, funded, forty five percent, fifty five percent of. Purchase costs. Yes. I think it's a busy box. Like 40 partners, I think, is a great piece of information because we have partners who aren't funders and funders who aren't like and then so I think the actual amount leverage is very important to this discussion. If we don't have town funds, we don't get this leverage. Well then in that other box, say X percent of purchase costs funded. So you want percent from public and private public yeah. and private sources. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we'll do a percent. So leverage so is a percent. Leverage is a percent. Do we or do we want a pie chart where there's the town part and then the 
I, I would just personally, I, I just say 20% of the purchase cost funded. I think pie chart might look that. better, but I think a subcommittee can deal with that. Yeah. yeah. And again, depending on how big the pie chart is, exactly. on thing, it might be better it in the report, be better. but here yeah. might be just a big. It's say yep. 40%. Yeah. 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 So we're, we're going for set, yes. not dollars. Yes. Yeah. I, I think pipe charts are great too. It's 35, at, I think, is when it comes to. You're right. I mean, you know, there's their chart. Yeah. People don't look at charts. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah, a good way to, to think about this is the is as the executive summary of yeah. the report that we're doing. We put all the pie charts in the report. That's, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. Pie fine. Charts yeah. on the second page. <laughs> or on the second page. I just, you know what? Maybe it's because I. I I do like charts. I know. I I, I actually like. We I see the colors. The intended audience for this. No, we are. <laughs> That's why I'm agreed. See, I'm, I'm giving up my. I'm giving up my chart form myself. I agree with that. It's much easier to look at in chart form. Yeah. But yeah. people don't like it. <laughs> well, this book does, but, but not, I'm not. But they don't read. Yes. They don't read the list either, so they don't read anything. What they are apt to do is glance at boxes. And the number, and they might see. And I, I yeah. find stuff like this ridiculous. <laughs> you know? I mean, that's just ridiculous. Yeah, it's no, so busy, and you're going to finance. Me. I know. I know. So, that's what I was just yeah. going to say. You're more. You think that's what yeah. I'm saying. not? I'm not complaining. I think it's a great idea because I think people will look at this. This is why we have a diverse actually see committee. <laughs> Yeah. When we want to look at decimal points, we go down to that end of the table, and Doug's like, dot, move it over, slash it. Well, here, give me an example of, of Doug, you can have the whole second page. No, no, I don't. The whole second page that doesn't exist. This, right. this, actually, I, I don't mean to sound like this upset me. I think it's tremendous. <laughs> it's exactly the kind, that's why they did it. You know, this is why they did it. They wanted an executive summary people could just visually just bang on. And I think that's great. That's what we need. And the nice thing about these type of boxes is that if, if we ever, if, when this gets done, timeliness, you can take one of those boxes, and that could be a Facebook page. Boom. Yes. Just that sure. that yeah. one graphic with the image. Did you know? Boom. Yes. Don't forget to vote. Did uh, you? Know? And, and the Boom. nice thing about it too is they can c connect directly to the data. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that could be through a link. Or so, so we've got okay, like eighteen so, minutes. Okay. So partners percent leverage. Species protected, farm, number of farms conserved is number. Because Seven. Yeah. And then properties providing public, public access. access. How many more? Can we we got three more acres of farms, or do we want to do numbers of farms? I would like to do miles of hiking trails. I agree. Spot, do is you it miles have trails? any way of possibly coming up with a number of miles of hiking trails that we have in town? Um, I think, yeah, I think it's more properly. I think they already have it in their descriptions. Yes, yeah, so we could get yeah. that. Well, let's put it in there then. I don't think that that um, to your point, question, Jessica. I don't think that's too busy. If we said uh, three farms preserved, totaling total okay. eighty acres, those yeah. are two very compatible yeah. numbers, and it doesn't. It could be in a big slot. You know it's, what I mean? Yeah, it's kind of like the tree one. Um, like it's working that farms. working yeah. farms. Yeah, working yes. farms. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's working. a big deal. I don't think the number of from the conservation standpoint, the number of properties is important as yeah. for conservation. Yeah. yeah. Because of space, you know. So yeah. but for farms, a farm it really yeah. matters. Yeah. Acres yeah. and number. Yeah. So yeah. miles of hiking trails. We're gonna add as opposed well. to Could, do you have any sense of number of visitors? You only for a couple oh. sites, right? Yeah, I mean, we've got we got numbers that we yeah. but if we can't get them for all of them. No, no, but it, this would be a good place you could you might be able to put how many does you want to call it hiking trails or simply trails? Because some people trails, yeah, trails. yeah. Miles just trails. trails. Yeah. It is more friendly. It's more friendly. Mm. friendly. Yeah. Yeah. Miles of trails secured, right. created, right. and restored. I think that's a decent box right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Touches it all because some of it might have been existing or logging roads that people are actually yeah. using prior to. I think that covers it. We we shouldn't take credit for what the land trust has done. We can always say enabled. We've already disclaimed that it's with partners. It's all right. I, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. You know, I know, I, I know, I know you know, know some of these trails. We're not claiming we did it. Us. So, I mean, there's no question. The land trust has done an amazing job on, <laughs> on in securing, creating, and restoring. Right. You know, these. Uh, but but no. theoretically, though, I would. I don't want to use the word disagree, but when the land trust or any partner comes, they're giving us their proposal that said we will create. We'll create. So by a funding, by awarding the funding, you are 
allowing trails to be built. Where, well, in other words, it's protecting the yeah, but, Exactly. So you are the sugar daddy that's giving money <laughs> to the trails. Oh, be so you did create those trails, right? No. <laughs> Think like a mafia boss right. to find out. Yeah. When, I, when I donate to the You did everything. Yeah, exactly. I don't do everything. Yes. Yeah. Maybe would. So. But we did, a, a way that might help Doug. It's all um, right. I just I, I, no. I bow yeah, to the. I, I, no, I, I understand. A. What did the purchase oh, enable? Exactly. Just think of it in terms yeah. of. Okay. These purchases enabled. Right. So I was going to visitors in a way that trails. Might. The whole thing. People stood up at the public meeting the other day and, and intimated that the town with who was bonding is funding the land trust. And you know, it's not it's not untrue that that a lot of what the land trust is able to do is is with the addition of this funding. But the town doesn't fund the land trust, no. you know. So and that's because that's I mean that's just semantics, but yeah. you know, so it's so, all right. But I don't care. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. As long as, it, it, but, as, long as but this, this funding enables the development of you, rails, access, um, rent, all of the recreation, preservation of species, all of those things that other groups get involved in. That it's all right. It's all right. And, and so that think in terms of it enables all of these activities. That's kind of the truth of of the money. It doesn't happen if it's apartment buildings. Yeah. Okay, so how many so last? I would like to maybe change the wording trails secured, created, and connected. Yeah. So if we use connected, it resolves your issue about whether we did it or the trust land trust did it with donated. Because if it's connected, it doesn't matter if we built it or paid for it. I'm not totally confused, but that's all right. I, okay. I, yeah. Again, we once we see a, a draft of all the yeah. how the, all the numbers are where they are, yeah. we can word smith. Then you can tweak it, tweak yeah. it a little bit. Which will be September twelfth. You yes. know how you know how this is just a comment. It just came to my head. You know how you think it's very very busy, and we also think that photos might be very busy. The other thing could be the blocks of plain color would be less busy. And some really nice pictures. Well, yeah, yeah, and, and, I, yeah. yeah. So it might be just it's just the green background versus some graphic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then it may be a graphic. Yes, or, we, or plain and a photo. Yeah, that way we yeah. wouldn't have to get as many photos. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah. okay. I defer to the designer on that one. I don't think yeah. that we need to. Yeah, I think once we see the data points in a list, because it'll matter because they have to take into account how many boxes and how big. And right. I mean, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh gosh. So miles of trails was the last. Yeah. So now we're done. We're considering any of these. We don't do hand gliding. No, no hand gliding. Uh, uh, protected land. I would like to see a water. The beach does those. Yeah. A water block, but I stream banks protected is a good one. So is there could we with the amount of but properties fund well we scored? Well, yeah, because we scored every time we scored, we scored stream banks. So we could on our properties, we could say the number of properties uh, funded to provide water access. That may not be the right words, but you, we know each pro if you're trying to get how many blank projects, we should be able to do uh, um, streams and river banks protected. Well, that's like the that, that yeah. one fifteen. Is the well? What are, are you guys looking at in particular? Why did we have number? But I'm wondering if we, because we have other. Well, I guess the question is, do we have this data? Do yes, it would files? need to be pulled out of the what uh, uh, the application topic. because every recommendation will have there's such and such number of streams. Yes, so yeah. we have the data. And, and, okay. and just so, we, have so you could do that mile yeah. one, that one fifteen. You could mm -hmm. put X. And you could put X. Yeah, maybe. You know what I mean? Yeah. You could say, okay, we did 30 miles. Well, we'd probably have to do feet. Yeah. Be, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whatever, the, whatever the metric but is, but be miles. nice to do to 30 Rick's miles, point, but I don't. You could find an accurate, you mean by looking at every single property and somehow measuring well, GIS or something? Well, it, it, should, it should be in the Yeah, well, let me see. Well, well, I do have a question question. regarding that. I, I don't know if Sweet. it fits Ooh. with um, the. Do we have all of the properties mapped? What do you mean as far as? What do you mean mapped? In GIS. 
Does Micah have all of them? Like if we, some of the no. examples had maps. He does. Okay. No, no, okay. no, we'd have to go through, and that then, may be part of the report. He's that's the report. Micah's okay. only been involved. So, Very Doug, fair. I will say this to your question. I think every recommendation that was written summarizes the number of frontage along Brooks. Like this says 3,200 feet of frontage along Silver Brook. But that takes some digging. You would have to go to each recommendation and pull out the frontage. I mean, again, if we're going to go out and if I have an assignment, you could give me that assignment. If, But I'm not saying I want every assignment. <laughs> I, right. I'm saying we have the data. Yeah. So we'd have to go. And we have the recommendations. So somebody could go pull it. It if, would probably be worthy either to say the number of properties that protected some sort of water resource or the, the footage or. I would like at a minimum to be able to say the number of properties that have protect have provided stream protection, stream protection. and if we do have time to go through then we get the I think feet but that's like that's a uh, really nice to have but yeah. I just don't know how difficult okay. it would be to pull all that from all the history from all the I mean are there any conservation properties or farm properties that we help to protect the don't their water we some what's that I'm not are there any processes that don't protect water something other well there's a parking lot didn't we protect parking lot yeah well yeah that's what but i'm that's asking <laughs> well i'm just talking about conserved lands and parks oh. one park one i don't think not protected so higgins beach land that was a that was a public access purchase well yeah but what i'm saying is i think the three historic properties and the parking lot are probably the only one. So, so the point. distance would be more valuable. Essentially, than all of them. yeah, yeah. Essentially, all of the properties. So, yes. so the distance. I mean, would be more valuable. In coming up, coming up with a real number for the dis for the total number of feet of streams, you know, in protected properties. Well, that'd be at least it would is, be have, yeah, it'd be is, plus is or minus. A, it's, 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 yeah, <laughs> maybe it's approximately. It's yeah. a it's a meaningful number. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's big. I think it's a very powerful number. It's, yeah. Yeah. It just isn't going to be exact. Yeah. I mean, plus but well, I'm telling you, put a process. Who's volunteered to do it? Yeah. <laughs> Don't all <Wait>. in favor? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can't vote. Oh, no voting. No voting. <laughs> oh, darn. No just voting. Yeah. Right. Out That's right. voting. Acclamation. It was acclamation. Yes, not I, I, I thought I heard two six. Oh, I didn't. Well, I'm going to try. After you put all these properties in the CIS, do you do that number and she she would only have to do the non scrubber land trust properties? Mm -hmm. Which number? Is he going to do it? He's going to do the Scarborough Land Trust properties. You have to do the ones that weren't. No, streams and rivers? Yeah, that yeah. aren't on Scarborough. So that makes your number Thank less. You. Okay. Thanks. I think that that's reasonable. I, I come up with the, that's where I come up with the numbers for the application. So he has them. I was just going to yeah. say that. Yeah, he's probably going to better. See, yeah. Streaming. Done. All in favor? No boring. Okay. Affirmation. <laughs> Affirmation. Uh, so, yes. So we're going to. That basically replicate the 100 yes. miles. Yeah. That's going to be so cool. <laughs> well, and again, the nice thing about this is the next time we get another property, you go in and you adjust it. Yes. You know, you change these boxes as we go. It's not a, the hard work is now. Um, there's two box trails. And again, before we talk about other boxes, but I don't think we trail bridges. I don't think, is that a data point that you need to have right now? And then what's anything in here, number of projects? 30 watersheds, million people. And yeah, the only trail bridges would be there would really would be probably not over the streams, but would be over the wetlands. And, and we haven't, we want to talk about wetlands preserved. That's an important part. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing kind of, and I don't know if it's with the, yeah, would this be would this be a good box here? Because the way, and again, I know we're not doing the design, but this box doesn't seem as busy because it's long and tall and it's stacked up. So, could you put here a summary summary slide? Farm acres, projects, farmlands, wetland acres. You know, just a kind of a couple of high level mm -hmm. yeah. acreage numbers. Maybe. Yeah, you know what I mean. Total projects. Which um, again, I think we'd have to rely on the. Acres of what? What kind of wetland? You know, I mean, you're talking Stress, about GIS. freshwater marsh, saltwater marsh, you're talking about forest of wetlands, you're talking about. I, I'm wetlands. thinking high level numbers, not dial, diving down into well, the wetlands is. Under. See, 
That's a tough number. I mean. Yes. Well, see what see what. Oh, even in I, I, even in the applications, you don't have necessarily have acres of wetlands. They could be estimated. Sure. But right in this paragraph, nine hundred forty uh, fifty acres of forest, upland forest, seventy five acres of wetlands, three three thousand two hundred feet of frontage, and I think every that single look F, just for every single. I think it does. Well, since Scott's been involved, we, we're seeing them like that, but. but I mean, we're seeing that level of detail in these applications for the last two or three years. I don't know. I don't know. So I don't know that that's I, I would, true. No, I think we saw that before, but they were kind of fuzzy numbers. I just guess kind of yeah. speculative. If it's all right. Speculative. I mean, if, if the numbers all exist, right? If it's a I'm square real land trust property, they can run the GIS analysis on all of the, all of the properties and get it. That's no. so not a yes. Mm -hmm. So we'd only have to really dig so into the So we'd only one. have to dig into the other ones. Yeah. We could easily say how many projects we've covered, contributed, to. and the watershed the definition of a watershed is an area of land that drains all of its water to a specific lake or river. So we can cover that how many watersheds. Yeah, but this is going to be like if you're talking about big ones, if you're talking about Saco Bay or Casco Bay, you're talking. We got two. Two. Yeah, it's going to be Saco Bay and not such Scarborough River, Dunstan River. Oh, well, those aren't, those aren't separate, separate necessarily watersheds because they kind of connect to each other. But... Look at this, this water so rather than counting each specific, you know, yes, possible, sure. if we only had three watersheds, right? Let's put three watersheds in there. If you go on the town parcel of your Mike has got all the watersheds broken out for Scarborough, all right, and he goes down to a smaller level, like. Small and such. He does. Dunstan, you know, he breaks them into the by water. definition versus the well. There's half levels. There's hydrologic unit codes, so you know they're the, they get smaller and smaller, and smaller. Gotcha. So it depends on what level of watershed you're looking at. Well, we go down to the lowest level that he has. <laughs> when we could go down to the level as yeah. Okay, let, um, we don't have a lot of time left. I assume this is the first page. What would the second page be? That. No, that's both pages. That's both pages. That's both pages. Okay. So I guess my last question is, is there any other uh, informational blocks that we didn't touch on that you guys think that's unique to Scarborough that a factor? I, I think for political purposes and for purposes of, of the bond fund, something simple that explains how it happens. In other words, how... That explains the Parks and Conservation Land Board. How is how is the, all of this accomplished? The committee, the Parks and Conservation Land Board, composed of members of the public of Scarborough, have a developed a, an evaluation, a meticulous evaluation process to ensure that the money of the people of Scarborough is well spent. Something, something along that line that says. This doesn't happen by accident. With there is a there is somebody who takes care of and scrutinizes. So you can make a spender at the bottom. Was, that's an excellent conclusion. Do you want to write those words down? Now there's a there's a page in, in the doc in the document that was presented to the board that Sue. Yeah. Did you do that whole document? Your what document. what what are you? Adding? Is it the, the one you the one you called up? Steps. I was thinking like the the work. Oh, in this in, in the block. Yeah, yeah, there's in our this thing certainly this thing exists, and this is the stage. Yeah, this this is, it's this. This is this. from from land trust yeah. bringing a property. That one right there. Yeah, that's okay. it. Or anyone, anyone, but you can't. Yeah, put well, this it, it gives the land trust, main farmland trust, property owner, yeah. property application. Preliminary assessment, detailed assessment, and it does a little bit of blurb on uh, on you know what this thing looks like. So, I mean, it's just the boxes. I mean, just the circles. Detailed assessment, property visit, comparisons. I don't know. Which, I, don't know I, I, I I just I I think that diligent, sort of, that, sort of thing, uh, that sort of thing ends up in the. The twenty-year report certainly. We might be able but, to. So is that more detailed? Than detailed, detailed? detailed? Yeah. Process. What I'm talking about is if this is a two-pager that goes out to people who are going to be making a decision about voting six million dollars, they're also going to want to be clear who's watching that six million dollars. Let me see if we can come up with so the box sizes. 
you know, whether it's a narrative as a footer oh, or could it go like a I was gonna say yes, we might be able to make this process smaller and run down so the side. The something something yeah, like that. So it's a side like, view. That'd be cool. You know what I mean? Like yeah. here's the here's the opening, and then here's the the, the this the, these circles. Yeah. And then here's the process, and the data is in smaller boxes. And that's yeah. when you can write in your, I don't know. where it's yeah. about stewardship and the process and mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, responsibility. Well, we can we can look at multiple versions. Yes. Right? Yeah, yeah. Because the taxpayers are going to want to know who watches the six million. Yeah. Basically. That's a good title. Just who watches the title. six million? Who watches, who watches your money? Who watches yeah. the six million? Who watches? Six million doesn't exist. No. Right. But, but who? Well, that's what they're voting for. Caretakers of your dollars. So yeah, we can come up with something. Um, so know. that they know it's not good old boys doing this or uh, people just throwing out money. Um that there's a that's a, a, a meticulous point. process. Yeah. And it's, a, it's a done by process. people who are just like them in terms of residents of Scarborough who Care about this. We could have a Would box that says seven. That yeah, that I can, I can, I can figure yeah, it out. I, I, but I'll work with Todd to see how he's going to okay lay that out, depending then about. So we use. So, oh, sorry, sorry, you I'm sorry. Yeah, I just was going to talk about other categories. I, I maybe I missed it. Did you guys talk about like marsh protection? That's what that we just. I put marsh protection also on that list of the long, the long box, upland forest, salt marsh, freshwater, the long narrow box where we would go forest, salt marsh, freshwater marsh, beach access or whatever. Okay. What we're protecting. But yeah. Because, because Rachel, yeah, right. Uh, that's what I put it. I put it in the long box. Okay. It's not going to have its own box. Because the marsh is, I think, uh, well, maybe it might have it. So well, I think box. because the designer, it would, again, we will have as many individual boxes as we can, but yeah. we might have to smush. Yeah, I we, do we have think to, it's we valuable have to enough focus to on some box. what the bond does. Um, right. So while it, right. I mean, it protects an awful lot, but the higher, but we so, only have two pages. But to could you that. break out that marsh data? It may be. No, well, I Scott Scott could. You have properties on the marsh that's on Facebook. Right. Yeah. The other thing would be like wildlife. You know, yeah. I think we've got that for we were no, we don't. We th really? that well, we th we did the habitat, the species what protected species and the habitat. Species and habitat, that species yeah, and habitat that protected. Wildlife. Yeah, the species, uh, species is, is and wildlife. habitats. Okay, so that's we're gonna do number of species or types of habitats, or are we just leaving it. Like what is the data point that's going to be just numbers, number of types, number of types of habitats, or number of types of species? Because you know, I you never, your bird and your plants, and we never, we never really resolved what we were talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I think we've got the, we've got the options in, depending on the states that we have. I mean, one of the options is the the creation of um, migration trails. <laughs> My great corridors, corridors, um, and nesting habitats for the bats, and so, so just, we we can come up with something like that. Will you send me your list? I will send. I will send uh, if you send everybody list. the list, and we can yeah. confirm that those are the points that we have as of today. Then we we can start putting those down on a piece of paper and get rid of these. Just to, to get the size of the box, don't yeah. when, when I send it to you back, don't worry about it, the size or which order is in, but you'll be able to see how many boxes are left or what, you know what I mean? Then you can go down and we have enough for two, two more categories, or we'd like to take this one category and break it up into three pieces versus worrying about, because I think there's more up there than we did because we consolidated and we didn't break out some of those. So, and so then we could possibly to assign some. people, which I actually think we're going to have uh, a, a assignment for a Scarborough Land Trust to work. Are you done, Scott, with what you were saying? That the categories? Yeah, that... I mean, as part of wildlife might be habitat for species of special concern or threatened and danger. There's, you, know, you could be, you know, those would be the ones that maybe highlight. And and this would all have to be. I mean, these are you guys are just coming up with ideas right now. Yeah, this is just flushed out. It can be well, that's what I mean. I think on that September twelfth, we yeah. dial down after. Don't see. Don't have a lot of time. 
come here to, you know, get acres of habitat for certain types of species. Find if, if that should be pulled together, that's great. Right. So the the assignment pieces, yeah. the things that, you know, Scott's volunteered to pull up a couple things, but it was the total number of acreage. It was. Which I think I can work on Scott with that. So that's Jessica. I'll do the acres. And then it was historic properties. And leverage. Because they go together. Historic <laughs> properties are settled, right? It's three Great. sites. Uh, number of funding partners and funding, funding partners, whatever that title ends yeah, up being. Yeah, who's going to do that one? Who's doing that? Who's... I'll, I'll pull that out of your stuff. You Doug. Okay, so it's Doug. Yeah. Uh, then it's protected Scott. wildlife species habitat, some number there. We need some sort of um, once we resolve it. Would it be possible for you, Sue, to work go through each? Well, no, path. I don't think you have to go through all of them. It's that work with Scott to identify which ones you do need to pull. Oh, because it's going to be a subset. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so, we've been talking about that for about five months. So <laughs> then the next one we need data on is if we're going to break it out as open, the type of open space preserved and the type. Uh, the that? land cover type? I don't have What's that. You mean like forest? I think that was one of the conversation, wasn't that? Or did I misread I that? I don't have that one. No, I thought. Species and have I've heard two farms things exactly. about these lists of stuff. I suppose you're referring to is a long box. I mean, one is more basic, which is conserved land, farms, public access, historic preservation. Yes, I think those are mission. Those, those are big boxes, right? Correct. Those are, those are so, bigger pieces. And then yes. you're getting more micro, getting down to marsh and forest and wetlands and those sorts. Well, of I things. agree, though, the salt marsh should be a big one. A big so, box. That's what but, but those are what what we can get in the time period we have. And I think that's a September. I'll do that. I was just gonna say I'll pull out I, I'll go through these are my recommendations that I wrote. Well, I don't think you necessarily have to do all of them yourself because I think it's gonna again be a subset. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a it's, list. It's gonna be a subset. Well I'm work with yeah. so who's taking on the marsh. Yep. No, I'm, doing, I'm <laughs> well, I'm doing the long time. box. You're doing the long okay, so my number five box went with some box or the long box. Yeah. Uh, um, working farm number of working farms conserved. Do we know that number off the top of our heads? Three. It's three. It's three. three. Also three. Okay. So that's no one. Public access provided. We want acres. And that no. I no. Think we're oh, sorry. That's number that's of projects ours. that provide sorry. public access. Yes, yeah, that's number. I'm sorry. <laughs> what I meant was uh we also want the number of acres of working farms yes it was the number of working farms and acres total acres. that's a really a quick assignment yes yeah. you just have to look at the chart okay so that's sue oh geez. <laughs> she did said, i oh <laughs> geez okay all right uh, yeah, okay. Okay. that's fine i'm, I'm pulling it. together the partners and funding i'm going through your your table to do that i say your table but really the table is that lays out all the detail on all the properties. And yeah. I mean, I can pull off the number of farms. Okay, that's Doug. Number of acres. Okay, that's Doug. Okay. And then my uh, number of sites that provide public access. Do we, do we, can I assign that to you? I don't think sure. it's Rick, uh, and then miles of trails enabled. Scott, Scott. Like, you know, public access, historic preservation. Public access, historic. And if he has visitors numbers, mm -hmm. you put visitor numbers on there. And the feed of stream bank is Sue plus Scott. Right. And then I'm sorry. You I just agreed with you and then it fell out of my head. What what did I miss? Historic preservation. Historic preservation. Which public was, access. Which was with really just a number. Uh, and then is there anything missing so okay so next meeting we will have the preliminary results of each of these categories Todd do you think that we could possibly have um, thoughts from the design team about what what they're recommending 
Yeah. So if you give me that list. Yeah. Okay. The number of boxes. Cool. Cool. Then I can go down with them, and we can okay. shape boxes, and then you guys can say, okay, we really want this one. And then your list, if you say, okay, you know, like the ones with the different types of things, we want that long box that'll refresh my memory. Yeah. yeah. If I think we should actually ask people to pull this. It sounds they like we're not. 2024. Sorry, guys. This is a busy season, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, um, I'll send the list. I think we should have before the, that meeting, we should have those numbers so that at yes. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So, goal for numbers is I'm trying to uh, August 30th. That's a Friday. That's two. We have two weeks from now. And then that will give Todd's team two weeks to do the first draft. But they can already start because they'll know the number of boxes. Right? Say it again. Sorry. The main trip's coming back for Thunder. Oh. Hmm. Uh next means the twelfth. So if we have if we have the numbers down by the third Friday the thirtieth, is that yes, yeah, yeah, because we'll yeah. I was just confirming. Yes, please. Sorry, I was your team's time, but we don't want anybody to start by lining either. Yeah. I'm not surprised given that it looks like it's night outside. Yeah, they they well when we get in here, there was a text saying a storm should be over shortly. <laughs> yeah. But that's not true. Anything any I'm ready to adjourn unless anyone else has any talks. Yeah. Um, we'll continue to use the 20 year folder. Um, to put this on here. Sure. Yeah. Well, committee. Uh, establish the commission, the subcommittee. So, I think we do that. We, we can't do it today. No. I think we can do it the 12th. Okay. Um, one of the things that I always I think we should put on the agenda for the next meeting to establish the same. That's for the long term. So, big, big, yes. That, that, yeah. Can I get the, any of the spreadsheets? Mm -hmm. You sure can. Is it, um, everything that's after is so yeah. you read. Want a motion? Motion to adjourn? No. No. Oh, because we can't vote. We're not. We're not in session. We're adjourned. We, we could just decide to adjourn. Oh, yeah. Just go in Madison. Adjourn. Adjourn. Yeah, I know that they are.